Hello everyone, Jiaozakai here. Having now played for over a week in Star Citizen, and now that I am a veteran, I've seen a good amount of what Star Citizen has to offer. I got a comment on one of my videos that brought up a good question. It read, Hi, first of all, Happy New Year. I really want to try this game, but when I first looked into it many months ago, there was not really any objective to it. Is there something like a main story and side quests? Is there enough to do? So the question I hope to answer today is, is Star Citizen for you? Of course, this is not a one-size-fits-all question to answer, so I want to highlight the things that this game does well, and parts of it that fall short. One debate that I am not going to cover in this video is if it is worth over $500 million. I will be covering the buy-in cost though, and if I feel the game is worth $45 to $60. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful or just like pushing buttons, it would be great if you liked this video and subscribed to see future content. First off, I want to talk about who this game is for. This game is not for everyone. For example, if you aren't interested in spaceflight, first-person shooters, or sci-fi, it is a given that you probably won't enjoy this game as much as others. Another group of players that this game is not for are those looking for a main story or a single player story. This game isn't meant to have a main story, and that is part of what makes it so unique. This is a game that builds off of player interaction. Currently in the game, there are dozens of different game loops that are designed to help you earn money. If you were to go at this totally alone without any interaction with other players, I can see hitting the point where you've seen pretty much everything and are left waiting for the next content update. So in short, if you hate other people, you can have fun going solo, but the experience might be muddled for you. My last critique that might turn off some players from enjoying the game is one that is currently getting worked on for the next updates. It is the bugs and how unstable the servers can be. Also, the AI is directly tied to server health, so either they are slow and dumb or Navy SEALs. For me, this isn't a big deal, Coming to this game right after beating Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, I died from bull more times than I can count, and learned that money in the game doesn't really matter much. In Star Citizen, you gotta just accept the fact that the server might crash while you're on a mission, and you can spawn back and lose all your gear and cargo. So if that is unacceptable to you, that is a totally valid reason to sleep on this game. Everyone has their line of what they find fun. Negatives aside, let's talk about what makes this game special. Who is this game for? I remember when I first jumped in. I asked the in-game chat if someone wanted to take out the new guy and show me the ropes. And immediately, I was greeted by a bunch of people totally willing to go out of their way to show me around and chill. So, as a new player, the community this game has fostered is beyond what I've seen in other games. The social nature of this game can sometimes feel like, eh, kind of like VR chat, but in freaking HD spaceships blowing stuff up. You can genuinely make friends in this game and just have a blast. Like in my last video, I showed off how we just chilled and ate ice cream. So if you are a total socialite or enjoy player interaction, this game doesn't disappoint. Speaking of player interaction, when it comes to doing missions, even though they are similar missions in nature, they can change really quickly depending on how the players choose to tackle them. For example, if someone gets down, a simple FPS mission becomes a rescue mission. Every day I joined into this game, I wanted to try new things, and having people going out of their way to help me and help make that happen is a really cool experience. Another thing that makes this game special is that it is genuinely a solid game. Running on a similar engine to Crisis 3 enables this game to have many wow moments. It is practically a screensaver generator. 60 to 70 hours in, and I am still blown away every time I leave the hangar or escape the atmosphere. The ships are amazing, and the game just doesn't feel real at times. The gun gameplay feels good, ship flight is amazing, and with that little bit of high-stakes gameplay, there are many moments of suspense. 
like when you're clearing your crime stat and you start to hear players shooting outside. In that moment, you know that you'll probably need to fight your way out, but you don't know where they are going to be. So with all that being said, let's look at the cost of entry and if I feel it is worth it. So the basic game packages are between $45 to $60. In these packs, you get a starting ship that is bound to your account and will never go away, even if the servers are wiped. For my starter ship, I chose the Avenger Titan on discount, so it was around $56 for entry. So the big question, do I think I got my money's worth for this game? When it comes to value for your buck, for me it's kind of simple, I like to look at other games. One of my favorite campaigns in any game was Titanfall 2, which was around like $30. Looking at Titanfall 2, it took me less than 5 hours to beat, and I haven't played it again. I currently have around 60 to 70 hours in Star Citizen, and I still want to keep going. So for 56 bucks, I feel like I have gotten my money's worth, for sure. But of course, this isn't that simple, and everyone will have a different experience. So feel free to share down below what you think. And if you are unsure if this is a game for you, maybe someone will post in the comments something that will help you find your answer. So if you want to see more about this game, you can always join me on stream. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay chill. Don't overthink things.